is what what goals or projects do you have coming up that scare or intimidate you? Writing a book. Um, I'm trying to currently write a book. As I stated earlier, I hate writing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, Which and could I, pose a problem. <laughs> <laughs> a small one, right? Just, yeah. just a little bit. Uh, and also, my goal is also by next year to also launch a podcast. Those are two things I feel like I, I need to do to grow my business, but they scare the crap out of me. One, I want to write a book because it helps build authority in what I'm doing and who I am and share my message to to millions because... The other reason I didn't share why I like to work with athletes is because if I'm able to affect an athlete who has a bigger platform than me to, let's say, eat more fruits and vegetables and more people can do that, I've just made a huge impact on the world. And it's a positive impact because I don't know if you saw Cristiano Ronaldo, a famous soccer player. He had like a Coke bottle in front of him in front of an interview. It was months ago. And he took she's like, this doesn't do it for me. And he put a bottle of water out like Coke stock dropped 20 percent that day. Like that's how much of an impact this guy has. And I don't have anything against Coke that I don't work for them. They're not my company. If you want a soda, we've used it for athletes to get more carbs in, especially like endurance athletes. So there is a way to utilize it. But seeing that happen because he told more people to drink water, that's huge. That's the kind of people I want to work with. So I want to get that message out to as many people as possible, to hydrate or dehydrate, uh, to make sure you get fruits and vegetables in. The things that matter to make our society be healthier, higher functioning, optimal, and so that's one of the reasons I'm writing the book, right? But it's scary, Justin, yeah. because as I said earlier, like my inner, my, every time I sit down to write, my inner child comes in and is like, what are you doing, man? You're not going to yeah. write a book. You're mm-hmm. not going to write, like, you, you don't know what you're doing. Just stop doing that. Just go, go do something else. And then I yeah. go find something else to do, right? So yeah. that's definitely the scariest project I have at this moment. Yeah, well, I can, I, hopefully I can encourage you because I felt the same things when I wrote my book. I sat down and I thought, why why me like who am i to sit down and write a book like you i fight i fought those same internal struggles um once i started writing it was great uh so all that to say i i fought those same battles you can you can get through it you should definitely write it one thing that i would add that lately has really helped me in writing uh when i was trying to find out whether i was going to write the book or have a ghost writer write it i was kind of meeting with a lot of people so i kind of take took this from the ghost writer um, but basically they said, Hey, if you just sit down with me for two hours and you just tell me stories, I'll write a book for you. And I was like, well, that's cool, but I kind of want to write it. But what I've been doing over the last, I don't know, three or four months is in the mornings. And I know sometimes you're short on time in the mornings. I just have my phone and I will speak into my phone, speak to text and write that way. And then I can write, I mean, I can write 10, 20 times faster that way. And then I can go back if I need to and adjust grammar, but it just, it allow it almost allows my brain to work in a way where I'm not um, inhibited by my typing skills. Yes. And it, it kind of takes that scariness away. So I don't know if you, you have tried that before, but it may be worth a shot. Even if you only have like 15 minutes, like last week I was, I hopped in my truck, a story popped in my mind and I, I basically grabbed my phone and I talked it out and it took like two minutes and then I went on. So I think it's really wow. helped in that way. So it may be maybe something that you could incorporate and kind of just get you kickstarted because it sounds like, like I said, you have so many stories. I feel like your book would be amazing and I will be the first one to buy it. So when you write it, tell me and I will Thanks, buy it. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> I love it. I appreciate it. I love it. Oh. Now it's definitely scary and intimidating. I can I can definitely feel feel you there. So 